Hey, welcome back to Best Bit. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create very quick feedback from your students using Google Classroom. So go ahead and go to your app grid and choose Google Classroom and then go to the class that you want to create this for. Here's one that I created earlier on. It says, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Okay. And it says, oh, how's it going? How do you feel? And here you can see the responses that I've got from students. It says, excellent, good, average, meh. I can see straight away then, if everyone's doing okay, it can inform my planning. Now here's a more of a... Um, this is more appropriate to like uh, what's going on in class. So I've gone ahead and I've gone to my classroom here. I'm gonna go to classwork. This is the stream, by the way. I'm gonna go to classwork. And so here's one here I posted out today. It says, uh, let me click on it. It's got this little uh, question mark. And the question is, have you completed your formative assessment task? I've got feedback straight away from the students. So here's my feedback. It says, yes, I've cl completed all sections and identified patterns. Um, two students said, yes, but I need to review my understanding of the quadratic function. Four students said, no, but I identify what I need help for. And then there are no students that said, no, I don't know what I'm doing. So what I can do from this, and this is quite useful actually, because I can go ahead and divide these students into breakout rooms. The video that I made previously, it's a good compliment, which is breakout rooms. You can go check that out, okay? Uh, in the link in the description below. This is really good because this informs my planning. Uh, I could even consider making breakout rooms for this. So let me show you how we can make one of these. What you want to do is choose your class. Okay, so let me go ahead and choose a class from here and then go to the classwork, okay, not the stream, the classwork and go to create. So when you go to create, you've got assignments, you've got quiz assignment, you've got question material and you reuse post. I'm going to go to uh, question and then I'm going to create a new question here. Okay, so I'm going to say how are you feeling? How are you feeling? How are you doing? Okay, so here again, I'm going to just say, how are you doing? And I can just say feeling as well. Whatever, you know, you get the point, yeah? How are you feeling? Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by doing multiple choice. And with multiple choice, I'm going to put my options here. So first one's going to be excellent or awesome. And then option two is going to be uh, good. Okay. Option three, I'm going to say, okay. And I'll say, meh. And then over here, not too good, not 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 good. Okay, so I've got four options here. Once I submit this, then the students will see the question and they will see the multiple choice. So we'll click on one of these. Okay, uh, I can go ahead and I can set a date to this. So for example, I might want to set this for Wednesday. I can even give it a time. Wednesday at eleven fifty. Well, that's not a good timing, is it? Uh, Wednesday at three p.m. Okay. Okay. And normally I don't do a point score for this, so it's ungraded. I just want to get some feedback from them. I can even create a topic here. So let's go ahead and create a new topic and I can say feedback to. Now, here's another thing. Sometimes when you want to get feedback, you, you're getting feedback for your own planning. So you don't necessarily want students to see the, the feedback, okay? You don't want them to see the class summary. So you might want to turn that off. However, if it is something that's useful, then maybe you want to keep that on. For example, let's just say you want to do a tutorial on who's using an iPhone or using an Android phone. You might want the students to see that as well because that might be information uh, that they need for a, an upcoming uh, assignment or something, okay? we could go ahead and we could schedule this. We don't even need to send this out straight away. We can go ahead and we could schedule it. So if that is due on a Wednesday, maybe I want to schedule this for my advisory class on a Tuesday morning, okay? So Tuesday morning, eight o'clock, I can go ahead and I can schedule that. So that's now saved and it's scheduled. Here it is, it's under feedback two. Now, what if I decide, oh, actually, you know what? I made a mistake, I want to go and I want to change it or I want to delete it. If you click on the three dots, you can edit or you can delete, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna show you another option here. Instead of multiple choice, we can do short answers. Now, short answers are brilliant because they provide a feedback loop. Look at this, yeah? Now, if you come down and look at these options here, you can see that students can reply to each other. So maybe you're creating um, a, a question here where students can actually feedback to other students, okay, and answer inquiries. So this will create a feedback loop within the class, which is brilliant because students can provide that community inside of their class where they're helping each other out. So they're not waiting for you to impact your planning and waiting for you to send a resource or you know uh, set an assignment to answer some of their queries. Students can go ahead and they can reply to each other. Students can edit their answer. So maybe they put something in, how you're feeling. Maybe they've changed their mind or maybe this isn't how you're feeling. It's completely different and it's something regarding an assignment. Uh, have you completed all of your work? Um, 
yes, no, oh, I need to do chapter four, and then someone else could come in, out, come in and reply and say, hey, I've done chapter four, here's the notes for chapter four, okay, or come and meet me and we can exchange notes. Uh, so this is quite helpful, yeah, this is quite use, useful here. However, let's say you decided, oh, I did want to do short answers, but maybe I'll do that in a second uh, question. Uh, for now, I should have actually stuck with the multiple choice. If you do go back here and you go to multiple choice, it's going to remember your multiple choice options that you gave, which is brilliant, okay? So it doesn't delete those, it, it does keep those there. Um, again, we can decide whether we want to share the class summary or not. In this case, I don't want to share this class summary. I just want to get feedback from this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to schedule this. Now, let me show you an example where uh, this is quite useful. If I go back to that grade 10 class, okay, and I go back to my classroom, here, when I sent out this, I actually added a resource to this as well. So if I click on this, click on the three dots and I go to edit, I actually added here a PDF, a resource, and I've said here, please see attached file, and I've named the file for support. So those students who have responded to this and said, no, you know, I'm not really, uh, I haven't completed the assignment, I'm not really, uh, you know, comfortable with this, they can go and they can click on that resource. And I, let me just click on that resource. They could go ahead and see, you know, some of the worked examples uh, and, you know, the key for that formative. So they're comfortable in moving forward. So this is really brilliant in getting quick feedback from students. And in turn, it impacts on your planning and what you want to do. So from here, I might decide, hey, you know what? Actually, I want to create a breakout room, divide out my students, um, and go through a differentiated class activity. As always, thanks for watching. If you found that helpful, then give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with a colleague or share it with someone that you think will find that helpful, make someone else's day easy, and consider subscribing for more EdTech videos. And as always, I see you in the next one.